everybody, I'm Chrissy Kelly and I'm from Absent, as you know, and welcome to Smell Training. Um, I think when I look at this recording later, I'm going to see that the letters are swapped around, but who knows, maybe I'll work out a solution for that um, tomorrow. Anyway, welcome back. It's day four. Well done for being here. Um, building a, getting a habit is, takes a while, and that's why I'm here to help you. Uh, as you progress along your own journey of smell training. We know that it's good for you. Uh, we know that the outcomes after four months of smell training twice daily are really good. The trouble is sticking with it every day, and that's why I am here. Today's, um, I'll be talking to you, of course, as I always do, in between, giving you tips and things. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about kits as we go. Um, but right now, let's get right down to it. Um, I've got my four jars here, and I'm starting off with jasmine. So lid off, a little bit of a baby, uh, so bunny sniffs, excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's nice and strong for me today. As you, as you take your little bunny sniffs, try and imagine what that smell might be like. And if you don't have a particular uh, memory of the smell uh, that you're training with, that's okay too. Just look, just see what the experience is like. Um, and it's really hard to um, give you that message because of course we always use words like see. You know, see what that's like. Well, obviously we're smelling here, but just try and, and explore whatever perception that you have. I see some waves out there. Nice to see you, everyone. Right, that's the first one. Lid on, please, nice and tight. Moving on to bergamot. It's a good smell day for me today. These are all nice and strong. And you know, it will change from day to day. Um, especially if you've had COVID, your recovery will probably be a bit chaotic. You'll have fluctuations. Um, that's completely normal. Uh, and I, I hope you won't get discouraged about that. I encourage you not to be discouraged because um, most people are going through that, so it's part of the recovery experience. Little tiny sniffs. And then taking in some oxygen in between. Nice deep breath. Um, I said I would give you a few more tips on smell training kits, on making your own. I discussed that yesterday in day three. You can go back and listen to that if you missed it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was people very often will say, oh, I think my kit's gone off, I can't smell anything. Well, that's normal. That might be part of your fluctuations. Um, certainly the kits that we that we uh, make ourselves, um, we've, we've looked at that problem from all angles. Our, we use special pads that will hold the smell. Um, we work with a perfumer also so that we have a formula that lasts long. Um, essential oils can go off quite quickly. They oxidize, so just bear that in mind. That's a really good reason to keep your essential oil bottles in the fridge when you are to keep them fresh uh, and then only take out the oil that you need to put into a jar like this so that you have your essential oils for a long time. If you leave them out on the, on the counter, of course, they will uh, be exposed to sunlight, even though they're in brown jar or brown bottles. That's why we use the brown jars. Um, so just good maintenance of your kit is essential. Um, right, next one is eucalyptus. Really good. Eucalyptus, of course, has that kind of cooling thing going on. That's not a smell. That's the trigeminal nerve uh, experiencing a sensation. Um, again, that's totally normal and 
a lovely experience when you have it. Um, and finally, in this kit, uh, which is called, this is from the Sarah collection, um, this is thyme, which has a kind of a medicinal scent. Essential oil of thyme, I don't think it's really the same as thyme that you pick out of your garden, which you would want to use in, in cooking. But in this format, it so, almost smells medicinal to me. I hope you're doing this along with me. Get your nose in there. Good, lid on, nice and tight. Now, as you know, we are uh, doing this in conjunction, in conjunction with the University of Stockholm, um, and we are uh, helping them uh, spread the word about their smell training app, which you can find by looking in, the, in the, um, our bio. Uh, otherwise, it's smelltrainingapp.com, so you register there, and every day when you do your smell training, you check in and you uh, tell them a little bit about your smell training experience. What they're doing is they're trying to understand how people smell train, and it will be really important for them to gather some information. Of course, scientists have to gather information first before they do anything, and uh, this is a really important step in making smell training um, easier to stick with over a long period. So I do hope you will uh, do that um, cause, because don't forget you'll be helping yourself but you'll also be helping people coming down the line later on. So that's it for today's smell training. It's lovely to see you um, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So thanks very much for joining and I hope you get your sense of smell back soon. Bye bye everyone.